Have you ever suffered any clogging trouble within your trip line? If so, I'm quite sure that that exactly happened when watering was the most critical for your crop. Well, let's see where this situation comes from. Like an inspector, we need to check everything, looking for any evidences, making sure that all the elements are installed and properly working according to the design. The main points we need to focus on in order to avoid any further problem within our irrigation system are the following ones. A suitable and accurate hydraulic design according to the project requirements which should warranty the working, the desired working pressure in each meter. The design should also include all those inspection points and elements for checking the operational conditions once the irrigation system is running. Secondly, the right election of all those elements included within the irrigation system. For instance, need to be ensured that the irrigation water quality is suitable for its application. Also, the fertilizers and other chemicals can be properly applied in different times and rates for both crop nutrition and system maintenance, as well as need to be reached the maximum uh, application uniformity levels in order to use the resources efficiently. Here, choosing the right emitter type becomes way important. The characteristics of the selected emitter will largely influence in the application uniformity. Note that not all the emitters bear the same characteristics and also doesn't offer the same properties against clogging. And finally, ensuring that the system will run according to the design parameters of flow and pressure. For that, the operational and maintenance task scheduling is required and thereafter the system life expectancy will be reached. Would you like to know more about this and many other interesting topics? Contact me and keep in touch.